Hey guys, um, I just wanted to make a really quick video because I haven't told anyone else this, but I think I'm really dreading Thanksgiving just tomorrow. And let me tell you why. Maybe not for the totally normal reasons. I'm only three weeks out um, post-op, so I'm on the soft food stage, which I don't think would be a huge deal because I love mashed potatoes, I love sweet potatoes, I could do, you know, whatever if I was having Thanksgiving here at my apartment or if I was having it with my family. Um, this year I'm having it with my girlfriend's family, we kind of take turns, which also would not be a big deal, except two things. One, I haven't told them about the surgery, and I don't really want to, I mean, we're having it, it's her mom, her sister, her sister's boyfriend, her uncle. And I'm not really close with any of them. Maybe her sister the closest, but even that, like, I don't know, I see her a couple times a year, and I don't know, I've talked a ton about not wanting to tell a bunch of people. And then the other thing is because we're all from different cities and we're all meeting up for Thanksgiving, we're actually going to the Four Seasons for Thanksgiving, which is, like, the fanciest restaurant in the world. And, I mean, just so you have a sense, I eat $10, you know, Chinese takeout when I'm hungry. This is, like, totally ridiculous and absurd to me. And I mean lavish and wonderful and insane. But then I was getting the details about it from her, from Becky, who's done it before. And there was, like, you order your own plate. And I looked at the menu, and it's, like, you know, roast, you know, it's, like, duck and truffled macaroni and cheese and just all these really fancy, fancy meals that I'm sure are going to be amazing. <coughs> Excuse me. But then there's also this huge, huge room of a buffet, bigger than any buffet I've ever seen probably, um, that's just appetizers. And there's a whole caviar table and there's everything you could ever think of, cheeses and blah, blah, blah. And then there's a huge dessert buffet. And I feel like I don't know. It's just, it's so scary to me. I mean, obviously, if I wasn't post-op, I would eat 10 plates of food. I mean, probably I hold myself back in front of our family because I'd be embarrassed, but I could have eaten, you know, 10,000 calories maybe, easy. This time, I feel like it's going to be this weird opposite thing of, it seems like there's going to be tons of good stuff there for me in terms of being on soft food stage, and I can eat cheeses, and I can have mashed potatoes, and I don't think that'll be a problem, but this weird thing of not wanting them to find out, or maybe I'll tell them that I'm not feeling well, I don't know, it's just this weird stressor, you know, I've been out twice now, um, you know, maybe three times to restaurants, and haven't felt deprived, really, have felt really satisfied, you know, focused on the conversation, got these delicious whatever I wanted, Except I did go to this Italian restaurant where the menu looked incredible. And I I mean, even if I just wasn't on soft food stages, I would have gotten something really, really good and had a few bites of it and been really happy. But because I'm on soft food stages, I wound up having mashed potatoes there. And they were delicious, but it was different. You know, and, and only in that really little way did I feel like, oh, it's kind of it's lousy. So I'm wondering if tomorrow if I go and there's like, table after table after table of amazing food. I mean, even if I'm not hungry, I can't imagine I'm going to see all that and take a scoop of potatoes and not feel some part of me like, mm, you know, wish I could be trying all that yummy, insanely decadent food that I'll never eat until next year. You know what I mean? I don't know. It's weird to think about the food that much. Like, and obviously that's just part of it. I mean, I feel like if it was my family in this restaurant, which it would never be, but if it was my family's restaurant and they knew what was going on, I could take a dollop of 10 things. Do you know what I mean? And be like, baby lick, baby lick. Um, I don't know. Maybe I should just tell them and not be, I can't decide if I'm the bigger weirdo for not telling them and trying to like pass it off or the bigger weirdo for I don't know, just getting so ugh about it, you know? I mean, it's important to Becky that I go, and it's Thanksgiving, and the biggest thing is I don't want the surgery to prevent me from going and spending time with my family and, you know, going to social situations. Like, but this is really the first time that I feel like 
the surgery not as doing that, but maybe me not telling people is doing that, you know? And next year will be different. I mean, next year I can have turkey or, you know, I can have whatever I want. So it won't be quite as strange, but I don't know. I've been talking to Becky a little bit about it, but, you know, I think most, I think Amelia said in one of her videos that thank God for YouTube because I could probably talk about my surgery and what I ate and how I feel and emotions, emotions, emotions for 24 hours a day. And, you know, I, I don't think any partner can handle that, quite frankly. <laughs> So, and I don't want her to be stressed out. I mean, she's nervous enough with, you know, me going and not wanting to tell them and the whole deal that I don't want to then be another thing that she's thinking about the whole time. <sighs> but anyway, thanks for listening to us if you're still listening. But I just wanted to put it out there that it's weird to be dreading a holiday. I feel like the first time, and dread maybe is too strong, but... I'm thinking about just getting through it, which I'm going home to my family for Christmas, and obviously they know I had the surgery, and it's just, it's I'm already excited about Christmas and being with them and seeing them and doing other stuff besides just eating, and this just feels like this really weird, lavish, you know, food-centric activity, and it's weird that I haven't told them, and I know that, but oh, I don't want to. But I hope everyone else is having a really great Thanksgiving. I'm sure if you guys are at home cooking with your family... Um, you guys are going to have really tons and tons of fun, but I'll let you know how it goes. I'm sure I'll make it through okay. Okay, have a good weekend. Bye.